is that most of us are running around in the world and our brain looks like this, right? So the issue with this brain is that it's not very coherent and it's not very harmonious. And it's kind of like what we talked about, it's not very present. It's kind of like when you're with somebody and you're like, okay, I gotta go, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what your brain would look like. But studies have shown that when you meditate or when you are meditating, your brain would actually start to look like this. So the brain waves change. And that's been measured by the EEG. So it's just a different way of being, right? It's a different way of living. If you wanna be running around like a chicken, scattered, or if you wanna be a little bit more grounded and coherent. And the thing about this state of being is that we've all been there and it doesn't have to be only through meditation if meditation is this big scary like ah, word. So other examples of when you're probably in this phase or in this way of being would be when you're petting a dog or when you're holding a baby or uh, like a runner's high. You know, like if you work out and you hit that zone and you're like, oh, everything's so smooth. That would be an example of being here. So it's not a big scary, like, oh, I can never get there. My mind talks too much kind of deal, which is what a lot of people say. They're like, oh, I can't meditate. I can't sit still. But it's like a muscle where you just got to try and kind of work at it a little bit, put a little bit of effort in and then keep coming back to it. So usually for meditation at the beginning, you can start with like two to three minutes in the morning and then maybe two to three minutes at lunch and then two to three minutes at night. So you have three points during your day where you kind of touch down and like <sighs> take a deep breath or ground yourself or go for a walk. Being in nature would also count as being in this, right? 